Hello everyone, thanks uh, for watching Handy Radio. And if this is your first time watching my channel, welcome. This is an, uh, about the BF Triple S, one of the best selling um, UHF, uh, cheap UHF um, radios uh, on the market. And today we're going to talk about its replacement, or if you like, well, a different model number to the BF Triple Eight. There's nothing wrong in being cheap. I mean, the Balfong BF Triple Eight S does really do what he says on the box very well. Here I have today a Balfong BF A5. So here is the box. Now inside the box you get pretty much the same standard things as you would with a Balfong BF Triple S. So just to go through the radio itself, here I have already put the battery on but we'll look at the battery later on and the antenna it's a SMA female now we have the belt clip which is the same size as the BF S. the shape of this desktop charger is different to the Triple so let's put everything else aside just to look at the two radios here on the left hand side we have the BF A5 it's a facelifted version and on the right hand side is the original BF S. We'll start with looking at the similarities of these two radios. They both have 16 channels uh, programmable via a PC and to be honest the software to program these radios are exactly the same so there's no difference in terms of PC programming. The front of the radio has this sort of fake carbon fiber, it's plastic. Um, so let's turn the radios to the side so you can compare the left hand side of these two radios. Instead of having two little orange buttons the A5, the new one on the left, has got a sort of rubber surround of the key, the PTT button just on top and leaving the two side keys in black. Now it's very easy to put the belt clips on so just undo the two screws on the Triple S or on the A5 and you can just screw it back on with the belt clip in place and to do your hand strap here the accessories jack on the right hand side of the radio so on the A5 you have speaker microphone and the same with the BF Triple S so in terms of the layout of all the connections and the buttons uh, if you look on top to radio you still have the two dials one the middle one is for the channels and the outside one is for volume and on and off it's the same on the BF A5 so what's so exciting about this new model this BF A5 on the left well there are a few differences so I will point out um, to you guys apart from the fake carbon fiber front of the radio on the A5 there are a few other differences so if you look closely the antenna length on the A5 is about an inch and a half longer than the BF S. so that's a different antenna to the S. The next difference is the batteries on these two radios so the one on the left, the new one, he says uh, it's got a powerful name printed um, on, on the battery itself and the BF S on the right hand side hasn't got the brand but it doesn't make a difference to how you use them um, there are two pins or well, two connecting contact points on the BF A5 where there's three on the Triple S but on the desktop drop-in charger for the Balfour Triple S there are only two pins so uh, the middle one isn't really used Another one with these two batteries uh, is how you what well, how you take them apart. So on the triple eight you use to just slide down this little catch and push the battery down so you get it out. However, on the new one there's a, a little catch again, but once you pull it towards the front of the radio, you've got to kind of lift the bottom part of the battery. Uh, to get it out. So let's have a look at the back of the radio see if there's any difference. 
So here we have the triple eight S and here is the BF A5. So the frequency coverage for these two radios are the same, it's 400 to 470 megahertz. And on the back of the radio, the claimed power is um, equal to or just under 5 watts for both of them. The standard uh, BF S battery is uh, DC 3.7 volt, 1500 milliamp hours. So it's 3.7 is very different to uh, the other battle phone, the UV5R range, which is um, about 7.4. Volt. So let's look at the new battery on the BFA5. Now this one, uh, the model number is BL-A and the voltage is 7.4 and the capacity is 1800. So that's a little bit bigger than the BF S, and the voltage is, what well, it has doubled. It's 7.4 instead of 3.7. So I wonder, would the extra voltage in the battery um, well will it make the, the, the range better will it make the radio perform better so the next video that I will be uploading will be on the range testing of the BF Triple S and the BF A5 side by side on the UHF band I'm sure some of you are aware of the different versions of the BF Triple uh, and if that applies to the BF A5 when I say the different versions, if you see the, the letter K here on the blue sticker, that's the version where there isn't a voice scrambler on the radio. So it doesn't matter if you set it to on or yes on the programming software, it will not work. However, there are the update, the green sticker update kind of Balfour Triple Eight, which is this one here, and it will do the voice scrambling. Another difference that's very noticeable with the new radio is the build quality. Now, I know the BF AAA wasn't bad. Well, you can kind of feel like the plastic is a bit of a hard, a scr a scratchy kind of sound, a little bit tinny on the side, but it's not, it's not a major problem, you know, something like a, a 12, 15 pound radio. But on the BF A5, as you can see, the, the, the plastic seems to be of a better quality so it's a lot more smooth on the on the outside another thing to really point out is the similarities in the user's manual there is hardly any difference um, in how the wording has gone in terms of what it does on, on the different selection keys for example how you activate the um, voice control or how you activate the scan function it works exactly the same as the BF Triplate S. So if you use to a BF Triplate S, you will find that the A5 operates exactly the same way. Thank you very much for watching this video and um, if you'd like to ask any question that I can answer, please feel free to leave a comment um, underneath. If you like it, please press the thumbs up and like I said, make sure you do subscribe to my channel because every week or every couple of weeks I will be bringing out some new videos on different new stuff. The next video will be on the performance test. So I'll be taking one of each um, out in the field and to test the range on receive and transmit and over a distance. So um, yeah, make sure you come back uh, in a short while to check the other video out.